Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Capricorn, <clears throat> this is your reading for the next three to four weeks. Again, guys, any background noise that you hear, do remember I have four kids and two big dogs, so just an FYI. Alrighty, <clears throat> so Capricorn, your song is Say Woy. And again, it's going to be posted in the description along with the link for the Spotify playlist for these readings. It's an old school song. And what I'm mainly picking up with you guys, Capricorn, is... Um, <sighs> whew, I gotta breathe for a second. Because like all of these rush emotions are coming forth. The, there was something from your past that you gave another go at. Whether it was a relationship, um, a dream, a goal, something. It, it's something that you were really passionate about. Something that you really wanted it to work. Now, unfortunately, as it went by, there was a lot of chaotic energy around it. There were a lot of things that just were not they were not working according to your plan capricorn and fyi that's one of my dogs chewing on a bone so anyways um capricorn it, it, it's, it's kind of feeling like that to be honest with you like you know when you're you're trying to crack something or you're trying so hard to get to like the core of something or get to that point where you're just like mm, we got this but it's like the harder that you try the the harder the situation became the more uncomfortable the the situation um became for you and for the other person for a lot of you capricorns this does have to do with love um for some of you it may have to do with work maybe a situation at work that just was not working in your favor and you tried and you tried and you tried and it's just like you know what i, I, I gotta count my losses and the the one of the main reasons and and i know that this is going to be hard for a lot of capricorns to swallow or to really um admit you were in love let's put it this way with the idea of not so much the person and this is completely true if this is somebody that you have dealt with in the past if this is a past relationship right somebody that you tried to rekindle something with you were in love with the memories you were in love with how it was once was and you wanted to rekindle that you wanted to bring that up and there there is there, there has been even though this relationship has come to an end again there there were some good times there were some times where you felt like the two of you were almost on the same page but when it came time let's put it this way caps to go your separate ways is really the the actual time that the two of you were in alignment because regardless of how much love there is between the two of you your path are going different ways there is definitely one here that the, the, within this connection, Capricorns, there has been a lot of manipulation. Um, there were a lot of red flags on your end and their end because you're not perfect, neither are they. But both of you chose to ignore the red flags, let's put it this way, for different reasons. I feel that you, Capricorn, really wanted to ignore them to really make this work because you didn't want to give up. You do not like to lose. And failing, having a relationship that fails means that you have lost. And the one thing that you have to understand, Caps, is that failure is what allows you or leads you to success because this relationship this connection was supposed to teach you certain things and now you have learned them for the other person i feel that they ignore the red flags for as long as they could either either guilt or because you brought some type of stability to them there, there's something within your energy that allows them to ground, allows them to feel at home, allows them to feel as if they can do anything and everything. But the issue here is not the lack of love. Now she's drinking water. <laughs> I just got to laugh because it's so funny. Because for all the other readings, they have been mad quiet. And for Capricorns, it's like they're, she's just being loud. She wants attention, right? So... 
the thing here is not the lack of love. The thing here is one lack of communication, lack of um, commitment to really one another. You put up a wall and so did they. So it, it's almost like you guys were at a standstill, at a standstill, right? So it, it's like, look at it as a duel, right? When two, two people go against each other and everybody's at their end and you draw and, you know, they count and who's going to shoot first. But it's like each of you were holding a gun, but nobody wanted to shoot first. So because of this, the relationship was not able to flourish. The relationship was not able to grow. And it's okay because... Again, there were things within this connection or relationship that you were supposed to learn that they were supposed to learn, but you need to stop beating yourself up over this not working. You cannot allow this relationship ending define you as a failure because you're not, right? It, 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 it got to a point where it was almost unbearable, the two of you together, and as hard as it may seem at the moment, as painful as it may be, it was the right choice. Whether you ended it or they ended it or whether the both of you came into an agreement to end the connection, it was the best thing for the both of you. Yes, is there still feelings? Yes, there are. I do feel that either you or this person, there is kind of like this shift in energy where somebody wants to come back. I um I am definitely picking up caps that when when this person is ready to be in a connection with you the way that you want and is ready to invest because there 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 was some selfishness I feel on the other person's end and I feel that they are starting to recognize that and realize that but it's almost like it's coming too late it's coming too late either because in the process of them recognizing that they're either going to choose to see somebody else and then want to come back to you or you have already moved on. Again, we're going to go ahead and clarify that with the cards. So let's go ahead and get some cards for clarification. All right, Caps. So since your reading was mainly about love, we are going to go ahead and pull out some love cards to see what the main energy is between you and this person. And then we're going to go ahead and clarify it with some tarot. So one love card spirit for this connection, this connection that ended. One love card. Just one card spirit. Okay, so you jumped out. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And it's funny that this comes out with this connection because again, it's something that, it's, that has ended, right? But this is not so much about trying to rekindle or trying to restart something with this person. This is more about you allowing yourself to kind of free yourself from this, right? Allow yourself to be a little bit more open-minded, mind minded, excuse me. Allow yourself to be open for, for love, open for the possibility of somebody new coming in towards you. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So somebody definitely within this connection is still looking at the other person, looking to see what this other person is doing. I do feel that they are keeping tabs on you, again, because there there is this sense of almost like ungrounding, this sense of um, missing home. <sighs> relationship evolution evolving to the next phase healing the inner child um and growth and this is definitely true for the both of you both of you had again a lot to learn within this connection both of you had a lot of growing to do a lot of letting go and um, you know, unfortunately, it may not happen the way that you or the other person wanted it to happen, but it had to happen. And this allows each of you to evolve with within relationships with yourself, but also within relationships moving forward. So let's go ahead and see what is happening with you, yourself, Capricorns. We have the star. the seven of spades so and the four of diamond so i re i really do feel um cappies that you guys are trying your best to stand on your own two feet you're trying your best to move forward and 
follow your heart, follow your dreams, follow what it is that... <laughs> and I'm laughing at the moment because I just heard my dogs and she's trying to hum him, as you can hear. Anyways, I feel that you guys are definitely having a hard time letting go of the ideas of the what ifs or the plans that you had with this person. The, the sad part here is Capricorns that a lot of you didn't express these plans to this person. So when they chose to walk away, they really didn't know how, how committed you were because of the walls that you have built up. So one advice card for Capricorn. I know I, I still feel like, well, what's going to happen? Is this person coming back, etc., etc. I'll pull out some cards for those of you that really are into that, wanting to know passion of the wild red mother so capricorns right now your advice is to focus on you to focus on your passion to focus on things that bring you joy that bring you happiness to allow yourself to flirt when it comes to life when it comes to just not taking everything so seriously right not allowing this um the this ending to actually become you or to define you as a person do not allow this ending to define you as a failure is the main thing that is coming up for those of you that really want to know if this person is coming back or not we're gonna go ahead and pull out three cards spirit is this person going to come back towards capricorn because i do feel that some of you want this person to come back So we have the chariot with the empress and the page of wands. And again, this is almost a confirmation of what I said earlier. This person is going to come around, but by the time that they do, to be honest with you, Capricorn, you're not even going to want this anymore. Your, your past is almost like your past awards because there was really never any action. And because there was so much lack of action in the past, you don't believe a word that this person is saying. Whether they're, they're true, whether they're genuine at the moment when they're saying it, there is this wall that you have built up that you really do not trust this person or do not believe what they're saying. Well, Cappies, that is all that I have for you at the moment. As always, thank you for all the, your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. If you would like to go ahead and follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok for your daily messages, go ahead. Links are below. Sending every single one of you love. Bye-bye, Cappies.